Okay, for, so for that ditch mower, you're asking about the uh, flow valve. Um, basically what it is, is this valve should be installed on the line that handles the bottom of the cylinder. Not the top of the cylinder, but you want the bottom. Um, and you're looking at that cylinder that is basically, um, well, it's the bottom. It's not the part where the, the ram comes out of. You want it on the actual bottom uh, circuit. And that's basically the side where when you're coming down, you want to slow how fast that fluid comes out of the bottom of that circuit to control how slow it comes down so it doesn't just drop down and hit. Okay, but when you're looking at this right here, you see this little arrow? There's like a little V here. This is like a, a spring. And this is the flow valve. So basically, what this is telling you is when, it's, when the, the uh, fluid is going in, this direction it's going to restrict it okay it's going to be this dial will basically control how much flow and it's going to force that basically the, the bypass um, to be blocked okay so basically when you see this arrow kind of in a slant it's kind of telling you that the fluid going this way is restricted when the fluid goes this way it's unrestricted if this is too low it doesn't matter it pushes back this little uh, like a little ball or whatever it's on a spring it pushes it back and allows the full flow to go or pretty darn close to the full flow so when you're setting it up you actually want to uh, make sure that it's set up so that you're um, that you have it basically the bottom so this side of it should lead towards the bottom of your cylinder and this side of it should go to your tractor um, that way when you actually put fluid into it it goes full level you don't you're not worried about how quickly it makes it stand straight up what you're worried about is how slowly it comes down now for your adjustment if you look I know right here you see here's number one Okay, and then here's a little indicator, or you can just kind of look right here. So it's got a full, I guess, be a revolution or whatever, um, that it's set up. Another way to kind of look at it is take it all the way down tight and then just back it up so that you're basically, until your 9 is out. Um, but the further you basically back this out, the more flow you, you have. So if you want to just go ahead and make sure it's working, um, just go ahead and you know give it two or three turns and kind of back it out, or you know so it's basically threading its way out. And uh, just remember one thing: when you're setting this up, there is no, or there's very little fluid inside this circuit. So when you actually hook this to your 1025R and you flood it and use it the first time, don't be surprised if you have to add. Um, a gallon and a half of hydraulic fluid or pretty close I think I had to add like one and a quarter gallons or something like that or almost an entire gallon or somewhere around there I had to add a lot because um, it used that much to, to fill all the lines and everything so any other questions let me know